judicial systems are preoccupied with the presumption of innocence of accused persons. The needs and interests of witnesses are generally overlooked, even though they are considered the eyes and ears of the courts. The situation is worse if the witness is a victim of sexual violence. What is the impact of testifying in court by a victim of sexual violence? Does it have any effect? On this aspect, let us hear Dr. Achal Bhagat, a mental health expert in Delhi who helped conceptualize and set up the vulnerable witness deposition complexes as well as was a valuable resource person in the trainings conducted in Delhi between 2012 and 2017. It is important to remember that a vulnerable witness may be re-traumatized during the judicial process. So the person needs to be protected so that they are not re-traumatized. Why should the person not be allowed to be re-traumatized? Because re-trauma means that the person relives the experience of violence. So it affects them psychologically. It causes them extreme anxiety. It may make them numb. It may make them uh, not remember things accurately. What might cause re-traumatization? Any reminders that the person might get of the past when they were traumatized through the cues in the judicial process. And these cues could be simple. These could, cues could be the voice of the alleged perpetrator, the color of the shirt of the alleged perpetrator, the smells around the process, the way the questions are asked. The person might be pushed back into the same experience of trauma and, and they might relive the trauma as if it was happening to them just right then during the judicial process. Now, one, it is not helpful for the judicial process to re-traumatize somebody. The very fact of re-traumatization means that the person is being harmed and it may cause disability. Two, it causes a lack of substantive equality in the process because if the person is compromised because of their anxiety, because of their numbness, because of their inaccuracy in the memory, the judicial process itself is compromised because it's not equal in the same way. So the access to justice becomes an issue. Re-traumatization is not only for preventing psychological disturbance to the vulnerable witness. It is for ensuring access to justice. I would now like to share with you a real-time detail of what a victim of sexual violence actually felt and faced when she had to testify in court about the incident. You must have all heard about Suzette Jordan, a victim of gang rape in Park Street, Kolkata, who was severely traumatized, who faced tremendous amount of victim blaming, ostracization and severe difficulties right from the stage when she tried to report the crime during investigation, during medical examination and her later experiences in the courtroom. Suzette Jordan was a resource person for us in our trainings in Delhi from 2012. She agreed to be so as she had decided to be vocal and open about the crime and the difficulties that she had faced. Suzette Jordan also permitted us in Delhi to use what she had said during the trainings. Unfortunately, we lost Suzette Jordan to meningitis and we cannot get her to come and speak before you about what was her actual experiences. Here is a short excerpt of what Suzette Jordan had to say about her experiences while testifying in court. In the courtroom, the complainant will always be one or maybe two, two women. But if it's a gang rape, they'll be like, if it's five or six guys in a gang rape, then there are six lawyers and their six lawyers have six assistants and their six assistants have junior assistants but the complainant has just two lawyers max three two de facto's a public prosecutor the 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 very fact that she has to go in there it's an in-camera trial it has its advantages it has its disadvantages as well the advantage is it keeps you protected from public and more humiliation from the, the prejudiced, patriarchal kind of people. But the disadvantages 
is the victim has nobody inside the courtroom except her public prosecutor who's really not her family friend she's a professional doing her job so it should not be the victim because even in my case i had i was told i could put a petition if i wanted somebody to us to be a support for me inside the courtroom but there are thousands of girls little girls who are being raped who are in the courtroom and they don't they don't know that they can avail of that facility so no no one will tell them because i was told this if i was told this that if 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 i get a lawyer then i have to put a petition the case gets prolonged dates keep changing nobody wants that so they don't even know that so this order should come from the court this facility should be given to the victim do you would you like a support system would you like your mother would you like your father would you like an extra person in that in camera trial so that you feel safe you expect a victim to stand there having the accused and then to narrate her ordeal and then be questioned and requestioned that firstly the rape a rape is the murder of the soul all these re rapes completely murder the very mind the little sanity that the victim has left the vulnerable witness deposition complex program is actually an effort on the part of the judiciary an act of judicial intervention and judicial initiative to create dignified and safe spaces for victims of sexual violence where they are able to give their evidence in a position of absolute security and comfort let me now take you on a virtual walk through of the vulnerable witness deposition complex in delhi the first of which was inaugurated as back as on the 16th of september 2012 why should victims suffer when they've already suffered enough isn't it our duty as citizens lawmakers and legal professionals to help them to comfort them the vulnerable witness court complex along with the protocols for the proceedings have been designed with the objective of providing a comfortable and conducive environment so that the witnesses are encouraged to give truthful and accurate depositions let's take a look at one such court complex firstly The witness is picked up from his or her house by an official from the court along with a support person. The witness is then taken into the court complex through the judge's entrance. This entry passage for vulnerable witnesses is separate from the main court entrance that is used by lawyers and litigants. This shields the witness from the hustle and bustle of the court complex thereby ensuring that they do not get overwhelmed by the environment. These entrances also have dedicated elevators as well as special ramps for the differently abled. Upon entering, the witnesses are taken to a dedicated waiting room through a private corridor. The waiting room is designed in a manner to give a comforting and homely environment to the victims and is replete with couches, rugs, toys for children and an attached private washroom. Young persons are prone to suggestions. Therefore, under the advice of mental health experts no pictures newspapers magazines books or televisions are provided in the waiting room a fully stocked private pantry is maintained which gives them the option to grab a snack as per their wish tea coffee juice and cold drinks are provided biscuits snacks cakes cookies are stocked the witnesses are also served snacks and beverages from the court canteen Many vulnerable witnesses would have recently gone through a traumatic experience and would thus not be in the right state of mind to effectively depose. In such cases, the moral and clinical support provided by an expert psychologist or a trained counselor becomes instrumental in reducing the victim's anxiety levels, thereby helping them to speak fearlessly. The witnesses are therefore provided with psychological support. by an in-house professional psychologist now moving on to the actual deposition room near the waiting room is the vulnerable witness deposition room 
The main purpose of this room is to shield the witness from a regular courtroom setting, thereby ensuring that the environment remains to be as non-intimidating as possible. The deposition room, like the waiting room, is designed to create a comfortable environment for the witness. The witness is also aided by a support person throughout the proceeding. The important thing about this deposition room is that it has a choice of seating, a sofa, chairs, a table as well as a floor rug. These options cater to the comfort levels of different individuals of different age groups and how they are feeling at a given time. The judge interacts only with the support person who is given a pair of earphones or headphones. Questions of the prosecution as well as the defense are conveyed by the judge to the support person through the earphones who then further communicates the points to the witness. A 360-degree camera and a non-invasive microphone are placed inside the deposition room through which the witness deposes. The answer given by the witness is contemporaneously electronically relayed to the courtroom with the judge. The deposition room also has an LCD screen which is controlled by the judge. In this manner, the witness goes through the process of identification of the accused without being intimidated by his physical presence in close proximity. Moving on to the final building block of the vulnerable witness court, the courtroom. This is also unlike regular courtrooms. The judge's seating is on a lower elevation as opposed to the standard height of a dais adopted in regular courtrooms. This ensures that the judge does not appear to be daunting or towering over the people present in the room. This adds to the overall endeavor of making the environment comfortable and non-intimidatory for the victim or the witness. The courtroom can be adjacent to the witness's waiting room or the deposition room, or it may be connected via the private passage to ensure that the witness does not get exposed to the common areas of the complex at any given time. There may be cases where the witness chooses to depose from the courtroom itself rather than from the deposition room. For such eventualities, the vulnerable witness courtroom has a special screened-off room for the accused. This room can be at the back or the side of the courtroom. It is provided with a large window with a one-way mirror. This means that the witness in the courtroom cannot see the accused, but the accused can view the courtroom and its proceedings at all times. An intercom is provided to enable the accused to privately communicate with the defense counsel. A speaker enables the accused to hear the courtroom proceedings clearly. The judge takes the seat on the dais. The accused is then brought into the courtroom to enable the judge to see him. He is then confined into the room for the accused. The witness is brought into court only thereafter. This segregation disables the accused from making eye contact with the witness or to intimidate him or her in any way by being in the same physical space. The witness is therefore protected from anxiety and trauma of being in the presence of the accused. So this was a deep dive into this wonderful initiative known as the Vulnerable Witness Court. Now let's understand the real-world impacts of this initiative from some honorable judges. Has the use of this facility made a difference? To start with, we have Dr. Aditi Jothri, Registrar Vigilance, High Court of Delhi, who will break down the multifaceted benefits of this initiative. Transposing any person to a strange environment and expecting them to behave normally is like expecting the near impossible. This is more so in the case of vulnerable witnesses exposed to a courtroom environment how can the journey of a vulnerable witness be eased while navigating a trial? The guidelines for working of the vulnerable witness deposition courtroom complex have provided for several safeguards and measures for mitigating the inhibitions of vulnerable witnesses. Let us hear from Mr. Gaurav Rao, additional sessions judge presiding over a POXO court in Delhi about the impact of the working of the pre-visit the witness already being vulnerable on account of age, social circumstances, the crime witness or suffered, it is extremely essential to have a general interaction with the vulnerable witness to ensure a fair trial. Pre-visit is crucial for the purpose of orienting the witness with the physical environment of the court and reassuring the witness that her dignity and safety stands ensured. 
The plea visit is absolutely essential to make the witness understand the process and the purpose of the proceedings. Such interaction enables the judge to ascertain the extent of psychological trauma, evaluate whether the witness is under threat, influence or pressure. It provides the necessary information to the judge to pass orders for remedial steps say protection, prohibitory orders against the opposite party or counseling the witness. Legally trained persons also are inhibited by the black and white formal atmosphere of a courtroom complex. Presence of so many strangers inhibits witnesses from frankly deposing about their horrific experiences. The existing procedures recognized by law includes in-camera trial for safeguarding the witnesses. Let us find out from the trial court judges whether the in-camera trial is a sufficient protection for vulnerable witnesses. Before setting up of the vulnerable witness deposition complex, the statement of vulnerable witnesses was being recorded in a court in in-camera proceedings. Even in in-camera proceedings, the victims are intimidated by the presence of the accused, defense counsel and the formality of the court. So, the victim was not able to depose freely and fearlessly in a court atmosphere affecting her ability to give the best evidence. Thus, it was a very challenging task for the court to elicit complete, accurate and reliable evidence from vulnerable victim in formal court atmosphere. The vulnerable witness deposition complex has provided a solution to this problem. I have experienced that when deposition of the child victim is recorded in the vulnerable witness deposition room, the victims depose with ease without secondary victimization. The witness's recount is better and fearless. In my view, establishment of such deposition rooms is the need of the hour and such facility is a must in every court complex to ensure fair trial. We have had the experience of using the vulnerable witness deposition courtrooms since 16 September 2012 in the Karkaduma court complex. Such court facilities have been made available in every district and complex in Delhi. Have they really made a difference? Let us hear about the important aspects about the use of such courtroom facilities from the judges themselves who are working these courts. What is the experience of a witness in a case involving sexual violence from a close relative partner friend? Let's find out. I have found that in cases where the accused is related to the victim, say in cases of incest, the victim does not find support from her family. It has been my observation that such victims are under coercion and threat to not support the case of the prosecution, often to protect the honour of the family or source of livelihood. However, when such witnesses are provided psychological and emotional support in a neutral environment, they speak up against the atrocities committed against them. It is important to provide psychological, emotional and financial support to our victims so that they speak up freely and truthfully. We judges should not hesitate in utilizing the facility of trained counsellors and psychologists when it comes to such witnesses. I have done my best to comply with the guidelines for interaction with the victims and have seen excellent outcomes. And these excellent outcomes are precisely the end goals of this initiative. There would be no better way to sign off than to hear a few inspiring words from Justice Geeta Mittal Madam herself. I realize that it may not be possible for many of you in remote parts of India to come and physically see what we have created in Delhi. Hence this film. I hope it has been able to provide you an insight into what needs to be done and what you can create out of existing courtrooms without looking to create new construction to, to raise vulnerable witness deposition complexes or rooms. In case you are raising new construction, please follow the module which we have adopted. We have also shared the prototype and the design 
which will tell you what you need to do we have looked after disability and tried to factor in the special needs of those who are disabled and are appearing in the vulnerable witness deposition complexes please remember what this program illustrates that following universal procedures does not necessarily result in optimum results or justice i hope we are able to walk this journey together ensuring safe and comfortable places for victims of sexual violence who are able to testify giving a honest and true account of what they have experienced enabling judges to dispense justice in its real forms